For years, I've been building websites, and there are a few things that always frustrate me. If I build on WordPress, Webflow, Squarespace, I don't actually own it. I'm locked into hosting, I'm stuck paying subscriptions, and eventually it breaks. So I'm building an alternative, an AI website builder that gives you the site, the code, and free hosting, and it's built in just a few minutes. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you two features inside this alternative that honestly shouldn't exist. And once you see them, you'll never want to use WordPress or a plugin for SEO again. Now, the more you deep dive into this problem, you realize the tools aren't actually the real issue. The business model behind them is. They make money by keeping you dependent on hosting fees, subscription stacks, paid plugins, forced upgrades, and theme builders that bloat your code. It's not that we're doing it wrong. It's the system is designed to keep us renting websites forever. Why are we still renting websites? When AI can build them, we can own the code and host them completely free. So this is GitPage, an AI website builder that creates your entire site. Pages, policies, blog posts, it auto deploys with free hosting. There's no plugin and no subscription. You own the code and you own the repo. Now, I'm just here in the Git page dashboard. This is my dashboard and you can see I've got over 500 published sites on Git page. Now, if I was to publish these sites on the lowest plan on WordPress, it would cost me over $60,000 per year. And if I used Webflow, the cost would be $85,000 a year. But with Git page, this cost me zero. So basically, this is how it works. Fill in a form, AI generates, auto deploys, and then you have a live site, which can be edited. So let's build one. First thing I'm going to do is start a stopwatch. So we'll hit go on this one. Now I'm back on the My Sites page here, and you can see I've got a whole stack of them. Create a new site. We just click on New Site. Next, what we get is a bunch of options for the type of site we want to build. We'll go with the default because it's the most common. We can select a language or stick with English. Next, you've got the main heading. So I've just typed in here, Perth AI SEO automation, standard, hero statement. So I've got AI SEO automation for small business. Next, three key features. So you can type these in or you can get AI to do it. So if we click on this little icon, now this is in real time. Now we have our, our features all done. Benefits, same again. Click the icon. Within three seconds, we get our benefits. Would you like an FAQ? Yes, your email. So I've just got admin at PAI.com, copy this part, call to action link. I'll just use the domain PAI.com. So this is where you can apply the design system to your site. So it's unique for what you want. So I'm going to go with the bold, creative, friendly, and soft. We'll go with modular. I'll stick with rounded and soft. We'll go with subtle uh, interactions, animations, button style. I'll stay with solid. For contact form, I'll go with split. And your icon style. So you'll notice a lot of AI builders have a very similar icon. So there's some options here so you can stand out and not look the same as everyone else's. So I'll go with this one and submit. Now, typically for this type of build, it's going to be somewhere around seven minutes. It might be eight minutes. It might be six. We'll see. Okay, so the site has actually been built, so it's just under 10 minutes. I'll press pause there, and that's the kind of time we'd expect. Three minutes or so to put the requirements in, and six or seven minutes to generate. So that's looking okay. Now, if we go back to the My Sites page in Git page, we can see that this is the site here. Now, we can take a look at it. So this is our site. It doesn't come with 27 plugins or need anything else to run or work, and it doesn't cost anything to host. What it does have, though, is a design that has taken on board our design system. So you can see the color palette is aligned with what we selected. There are very subtle animations, and that's what we also selected. The menus and everything works, features, success, FAQ, and everything is done. Now, of course, you might want to update the copy. You might want to change a few things, and that's super easy to do as well. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But first, I want to show you how the SEO performs in terms of page load speed. So I've just pasted in the URL, and I'll hit analyze. Okay, so straight out of the gate, we can see we've got very good SEO according to PageSpeed Insights, which is Google's page performance tool. Now, I've also got open a few other sites that I've built just so you can see some different designs. So I've got this one Paris AI and you can see it's in, in French. I've got a Sydney AI agency with a different color palette and design system. I also did the speed test on it. And again, you can see you know, 98, 96, 100, 100. Now, I've also got this one here. Now, this is more of a, a funnel. 
And it's got the urgency applied to it. So, you know, next session starts, reserve my spot. Now, this kind of site will cost you around $99 a month to build and host on ClickFunnels, but we can do it for basically zero. Now, to take the SEO one step further, this site here was built with gitpage.site, and you can see it's been crawled and indexed by Google. And the reason for that is it is HTML and there are no rendering issues, which can impact some of the AI website builders. The issue is actually so big that in my online community, I actually offer a solution for the lovable SEO problem. This is always an option. I will leave the link in the description, get the fix, and you will get indexed. Now, if you'd like to understand this a little bit more, you can go to the home page of Gitpage and scroll down and you'll see this section here. Gitpage is built for search engines, not just for browsers, and it gives you a bit of an overview of the problem and why it matters. All right, now we're going to take a look at how we can edit any site that we build with Gitpage. But first, I want to point out that a lot of these features, and particularly the last two killer features I'm going to show you, these have been suggestions from members of my free community who use the system and have asked for certain things to make it better. So back on my sites in Gitpage, if we want to make an edit, we just click on the, the site we want to edit. It'll load up. If it's the first time, it might take a few seconds. We can click onto the code and have a look through this. We can edit directly in here. So if I scroll down a bit, for example, and I change this just to be for business, and then I click over here, you'll see that instantly it's detected that there's been a change. You'll see this orange dot here and that it's now in draft state. So the production and the edit version are decoupled. Now, there's another cool thing we can do here. If you've forgotten what edits you've made, you can click on this diff and it's going to highlight where that change was. So you can see over here, there's this red and green line. If we scroll down to it, we can see that this is where the diff is. It was for small business and now it's for business. So that's just a handy way of just reviewing the changes you've made before you publish them. So if I go back onto preview, I could publish that change. I can just do that and it's going to go off and then it's going to be live probably within one to two minutes. But there are a couple of other ways I can do these edits. I could go into the AI prompt here. So I could just say this, for example. So in the prompt down the bottom, I've just said change AI SEO automation in the hero to AI SEO. Quick edit, about 10 seconds. So super easy to do it. Now, the other method you can do is click on edit text and you can do inline editing. So I can just put it back here. All right, so super easy. I'll publish that and we're all good. Now, the other things you can do is you can add a new blog. So we see we have blog here. This is the one that was generated when the site was built. But by clicking this, we can add a new one. We just enter in our details. A couple of things to note, if you're on this keywords and I want to make a keyword SEO, when you type in SEO, make sure you hit tab and it'll put it up here in a bubble and you can add up to five keywords. All right, time to reveal a couple of these killer features. The first one is building a sitemap. Now, some systems and applications make this very complicated, but watch this. Just click on build sitemap, count to 10, and it's done. So that's finished. And you'll see up here, we've got an orange dot. When I publish this page, that sitemap will go to our repo and it's available for Google to help navigate all the files of our website. The next one is adding a schema markup. It's never been this easy. Just click on add schema markup. Now you can see instantly we've gone to draft mode on our index file over here. So what I can do is I can click on the diff and we can take a look at what it's done. You can see previously in this space here after row 54, there was nothing, but now we have the schema markup. So that is super cool. If I go back to the preview, I can publish just this page, but if I press publish all, we'll get both of them. So we'll do both. And then I'll show you in production that these changes have made their way in and that we're all good to go. Okay, so I'll open the site. Now what you will see is with a sitemap, you won't see anything because that's a separate file, but with the schema markup, we actually can see it. Now if I press con control U before these changes flow through, which will take about 30 seconds, we can see it's supposed to start at about row 51 or 54, somewhere around here. So if I refresh this in a second, we will see it with the schema markup and just shows that the entire process is working end to end. All right, so that's been about 30 seconds. If I refresh this, we should see our schema markup from about row 54. And there you go, you can see it here. So that's all made its way through. This is in production. Everything is looking really good. 